At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programs offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. In this webinar, I'm going to be introducing the complex topic of hedge accounting under IFRS 9. Um, I'm going to be talking about the standards that have a direct... When we talk about hedge accounting, the main accounting standard is IFRS 9, financial instruments. Financial instruments as well will set the guidance regarding how financial assets... So what's the objective of hedge accounting? The main objective is to avoid or to try to mitigate any p &L and the interest rate swap will be the hedging instruments. Regarding the types of hedges, there are three types of hedge accounting relationships. The first one is called fair value hedge. Only eligible hedge items and hedging instruments can be part of a hedging relationship. The second requirement is that there has to be a formal designation and documentation. And this has to be done at hedging. It's called the critical terms method. And this method can be used when the critical terms, so the main terms of the hedge item and the hedging instrument exactly match. So it's qualitative. All we need is to justify that because of this exact match of the critical terms, we conclude that there is... Let's imagine that we are highly expecting a cell, and this cell is in, denominated in a foreign currency. And let's assume that this is a perfectly effective hedge, so there is not going to be any... Net investment hedging is applied to hedge the foreign currency exposure stemming from foreign... Can an entity change the method to assess effectiveness once the hedging relationship is in place? The method that we will be using in a hedging relationship is documented in the assessment section of the hedging relationship documentation. Um, during the life of a hedging relationship, we cannot change the method.